It's easy when you're making YouTube content frequently to get overexcited time and time and time again and then fatigue your audience into to thinking that you don't actually sort of treasure the bits of gear that you've got. When I made the Ainsley Lister um, Rift Amp video, the first one, I said my search for an amp is probably over, this is it. And of course, curiosity wins time and time again. I had to know what these Bartel amps were like. So many people have mentioned it. After I bought the Two Rocks, after I bought the Tone King, Sky King, people were like, are you gonna get a Bartel amp? I got one. And I have sat here, I mean, my, my hands are shaking. It's the most visceral amp experience I've come across. Now, it, it doesn't do what the Rift Ainsley Lister does. It doesn't do what the, what the Matchless C30 does. But it does something else so well that I'm, I'm totally like in awe of it to the point where you know my mind is wandering in all different directions you know like do I sell my two rocks am I gonna turn them on again <sighs> who knows uh, th this video is is an introduction to the channel for the for this Bartel Roseland amp um, let's have a quick history shall we uh, Mark Bartel founded Tone King Tone King has one of the most successful boutique amps out there, probably the Imperial Mark II. Um, I have the Tone King Sky King, which is even the bigger brother of the Imperial at 35 watts, I believe. It's a two channel amp that got me into boutique amps. So I love it for that and it was a fantastic experience. I don't play it that often anymore since I got the two rock amps, which to be honest, just have, compared to that, it was a bigger, more visceral experience that I really enjoyed. Um, so Mark Bartel sold Tone King and moved on. I guess people weren't sure what he was going to do, but he cropped up in about 27 or 18 with some new amp designs. But here's where it's interesting, is much like a custom instrument making shop, you know, he's a, he's a master building amp builder. <laughs> um, these amps are built like instruments. Uh, you know, they're all hand done completely. He doesn't even use ply board, he uses actual hard wood. Um, when I do my full review and I'm not quite so excited, I'll go, I'll give you the actual full details of everything. Because this amp is all about detail. It's not just a sort of, oh yeah, it's got this and then this tube and this tube and it's, you know, move on from that. It's really down to detail and I need some time to work out exactly what's going on here. When I received it yesterday, I spent the first three or four hours twiddling with the knobs. This has the most unusual preamp section. The treble and the bass knobs are not quite, yes, they do add treble and bass, they do take away treble and bass, but they're much more interactive than that. I believe that each one is actually run separately through a different tube. Safe to say it's incredibly powerful. The reverb is wild. I'm almost wondering if I've got something faulty in mind. It's so whiplashy, so, it bounces around the room and you hear like the springs and everything. I need to probably send a little clip to Mark Bartel and ask him if, it's, if everything's all right, but it's amazing. I mean, that's what's really got me so hyped up. The way the reverb plays, it reminds me of those, those mid 60s Fender amps where quite often the reverb is a little bit wild, but that's what becomes what you're playing. You know, you're, you're playing the reverb. The tremolo is um, a bias, tube bias tremolo. It's very beautiful, very controllable. And um, we'll get more into that in a review. What am I gonna do today? What, what am I here to show you? Well, <laughs> just um, for everyone that said to me, you need to try a Bartel amp, uh, thank you. Because now I wasn't sure with the Tone King Sky King, I actually found it a bit frustrating. I couldn't get the tones out of it that were described in the little book. And I doubt that that's what Mark Bartel would have wanted, but you know, he sold it on and I couldn't ever quite get the tones that I really wanted out of it, if I'm being 100% honest with you. It does what it does really, really well, but once I got into the two rocks and the element of tweakability with those and the hi-fi nature, it wasn't quite comparable. But with this one, I can already tell you, and I've got the head and cab, which is probably less common than the, the combo amps. It's just huge sounding. Now the amp, the speaker's barely played, you know, it's got about four hours in it at the moment. I normally find that once an amp's had about 20 or 30 hours, it starts to really play to its best. Um, oddly, with the Tone King Sky King, when I played that one in, it actually got flubbier 
and less nice to play, whereas every other amp I've had, so I think my speaker in that one, maybe there's something funny about it. I'm rambling today. This is what this video is. It's, it's a new purchase excitement ramble. Um, I bought a Bartel amp. Let me just cut in here for a second. Let's get some more music going. Um, I've just got a minutes clip here with me playing a Telecaster and uh, we'll come back to more talking in a minute. I don't want to bore you with all the talking. <laughs> Now, like you would think that considering I've got lots of lovely gear that that would I'd no longer get excited like that. It's not about how much something costs or you know, how rare it is or anything. It's when you sit there, does it give you that vibe? Now, <laughs> having played around with it, I finally found this setting that I love. I've taken a bit, I rarely do this. I've taken a, a snapshot of all the knobs for myself on my phone and put it in my favorites. This is the setting that I love. To me, it's somewhere between massive Hendrix tones and also big Fender reverb tones. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. I think what I'm gonna do with this amp to, 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 to pay it justice is we'll do a set, we'll do a review video where I take you through the specs and what it does and the actual knob turning because it, I think people wanna know. And then I want to do a video with each type of guitar you know, Bartel Roseland with Strat, Bartel Roseland with Telecaster, Les Paul, ES335, whatever. Get some content out there. Uh, there's another YouTuber, I've forgotten his name, who has made some Bar Bartel content. He lives near Bartel and they, they've even done an interview. It was really good. I'm sorry I've forgotten your name. Um, I'll hopefully put it on the screen here. And he's done some really good content. He's a really nice player. Uh, you know, he, he, watching his videos uh, gave me the security that I was making a good decision. Um, I mean, I, I want to get more content out there for everyone to see. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's funny when this sort of thing makes you feel like a big kid. Um, but that it's in, inspirational. I think Bartel wants this amp to feel like an instrument. Um, and it's funny that because before I even bought this, I've got my list of video titles that I've tried to work to. And I've got one that I've been waiting to make for ages, which is, are you playing the guitar or are you playing the amp? Um, and I think this is a great example of that, which will, will, will be the crux of that video. But yeah, let's, let's just play something else. Um, and yeah, um, as I said, a bit speechless. Before I go, let me remind you of my giveaway. This is the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll be giving this King Tone Duelist away. You just have to subscribe and comment, and hopefully it's gonna take five or six months, but uh, you know, maybe share this video around and it will go a bit quicker. Anyway, enjoy the last playing clip. I'll be back really soon in the next few days with uh, another video about this amp. Um, over the next few weeks, there's gonna be several videos about this amp. I just wanna get that content out there. So anyway, see you soon, cheers. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. 